Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said his coming speech to the U.S. Congress is not intended to disrespect President Barack Obama. In a speech to the top US Israel lobby, Mr. Netanyahu said the last thing he would want is to make Israel a U.S. partisan issue. Mr. Netanyahu has been invited to speak at the U.S. Capitol on Tuesday by House Speaker John Boner about Iran. It is seen as a rebuke to Mr. Obama's threat to veto new sanctions on Iran. The White House has said Mr. Obama will not meet Mr. Netanyahu during this trip as he is visiting too close to Israel's election date. The Israeli leader is at odds with the Obama administration's pursuit of negotiations with Iran over their nuclear program. Reports of the demise of the Israeli-US relationship is not only premature, they're just wrong. Benjamin Netanyahu Israeli Prime Minister The US, along with the UK, France, Germany, Russia, and China, are seeking to reach an accord to curtail Iran's nuclear program as exchange for sanctions relief. I have a moral obligation to speak up in the face of these dangers while there is still time to avert them Mr. Netanyahu told the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee APAC, conference in Washington. He added while U.S. leaders worry about the security of their country, Israeli leaders worry about the survival of their country. But Mr. Netanyahu said disagreements would not hurt the US-Israel relationship in the long term. Reports of the demise of the Israeli-US relationship is not only premature, they're just wrong, Mr. Netanyahu said our alliance is stronger than ever. The announcement of the Israel Prime Minister's visit came a day after Mr. Obama's annual State of the Union address, in which he warned Congress he would veto any attempt to impose additional sanctions on Iran during negotiations. Mr. Netanyahu was preceded at APAC's conference by U.S. Ambassador to the UN Samantha Power, who said the US-Israel relationship would never be politicized but defended negotiations. We believe diplomacy is the preferred route to secure our shared aim, Ms. Power said. But if diplomacy should fail, we know the stakes of a nuclear-armed Iran as well as everyone here. We will not let it happen. And Secretary of State John Kerry, who is taking part the negotiations in Switzerland, backed Israel's place in the UN at a speech to the UN Human Rights Council, HRC. Saying the HRC subsession with Israel threatened to undermine the good work of the organization, Mr. Kerry said the US will oppose any effort by any group or participant in the UN system to arbitrarily and regularly delegitimize or isolate Israel. But Mr. Kerry also warned Israel about releasing selective details of the negotiations with Iran. Doing so would make it more difficult to reach the goal that Israel and others say they share, Mr. Kerry said.